Hey YouTube, um, it's been quite a few days since my last video, but today I wanted to talk about a specific thing that a lot of websites struggle doing, and that is website footers. Website footers, as you know, they are at the bottom of a page and they can easily be forgotten. Uh, whether it's the homepage of a product, so like this one, like MailChimp.com that everybody is familiar with, or maybe a landing page specifically for a campaign or some kind of ads, website footers are crucial. And let's kind of find out why. When you, when you, when you forget to add information to your website footer, you basically leave some stuff on the table. So not giving enough attention to creating a good website footer can be detrimental. Not only website footers can help your audience get better access to like extra information about your product, about things that you've built around your product, about community, etc, etc. But it's also a huge red flag. Now, by a red flag, what I mean is if you have information that kind of like makes your product more authentic and more trustworthy, such as you know, telling people about who you are, your company values, the address of your company, things like that, you know, legal information, physical addresses for people that might want to, you know, know where you're based, etc, etc. Leaving all of that, it's basically a huge red flag, right? It's, you're missing out on, on trust, on trust factors. There are a lot of things that can go on the, on the footer of a page. Here's uh, the intercom page. They have quite an extensive footer. So some of the things that go on the page, uh, well, obviously you have resources, but you also have like career links, right? So someone wants to apply to your company, there's a career page uh, link. Uh, obviously you find te terms of service, you have all the legal compliance stuff, things like GDPR if you live in, in certain parts of the world. And a lot of other times, there's a lot of this like hub landing pages that are basically extension of your homepage and go more into depth about features of your of your product. These are actually really good for SEO as well as for allowing the people that are you know going through your website to to learn more about you know digging deeper into the functionalities, the features. Sometimes sometimes you find extra information into on a footer that has to do with partners, that has to do with developers, tutorials, um, and also like links for like downloading things like mobile apps, and more importantly, probably social social shares, right? Like, so you have links that allow you to, to access the information that are sh is shared on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and you know, LinkedIn and many other social media things out there. If you're a dev developer spe specifically, you will probably always scroll towards the bottom of the website to find the developer page, which on MailChimp is right here. On Intercom, it's right here. And you notice that the developer, you know, it's not really a main focus of this landing page, but if you scroll lower enough, it's mentioned in a footer, and that's great. So there's a, there's a lot of information in footers, and it's easy to kind of get lost sometimes, like what should go on a footer, what should not go in a footer. Well, let me give you some tips on how to make footers awesome. So if the information is already in the header, so like this part here of your website, the navigation, or somewhere in the above the fold section, then you probably don't need to put it in the footer. People that scroll through your website are usually very familiar with that information because it's at, at the top. It's are, these are the things that usually as you scroll stay with you throughout the page and usually they're the most important things. Um, don't pack your footer with too many keywords. If, if any of the keywords are kind of like loosely connected to your product, don't add them into the footer. Instead, create extra pages and then link those pages to the, to, into the footer. So for example, uh, here you have like all these like very very connected keywords like business messenger, customizable bots, etc, etc. Mailchimp has, um, you know, email marketing, transactional email, etc, etc. Now these are like directly connected keywords to the product. If you have 
longer longer tail products keywords etc etc those should not go in the footer but instead into like a page maybe like this one and then from here you can create sub pages etc etc always make sure to have the most important links to have are you know about an about page a contact page like this one here um, developers page are very good to have social media and then copyright terms of service all of those things security you know this these are great things to have in the footer and then let's take a look at mailchimp sorry at intercom oh that this is also very good if you have multiple languages the footer is a great spot to put those languages because people might want to change the language of the page and they might scroll at the bottom to find that as you can see intercom does the same it's got the terms, the privacy, the status, the security. All these pay links are at the bottom. If you're a smaller product, maybe security can be just like not in in included and you just have a contact us page here. But I think what the most important one is, you know, about the company. This is the most important one. And then contact us. It, you need to have those two at least. And then, you know, like I mentioned, social media, support, links, uh, about, um, sorry, Copyright, terms of service, privacy policy, those are all good to have. Um, it's a really good practice to have a call to action just above the footer. Um, Intercom does it really well. Mailchimp does this too. And um, that's, that's pretty much it for the footer. I just wanted to make a short video. And uh, the last thing I want to do is jump into product uh, by Indie Hackers, which is a great index of all products that you know are listed on indie hackers and i just wanted to jump on a couple of them i was opening randomly this one weekend club if i go on the website although these guys or this person charlie ward makes 1.5 thousand dollars a month in revenue you will see that there literally isn't anything in the footer except for a twitter link that's incredible um how can someone with such a cool product that makes so much money forget about footer it's kind of uh, it's kind of mind blowing. On the other hand, let's pick I don't know. Let's randomly pick some 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 apps. Okay, SQL Pad. Learn and prepare SQL interviews online. Opening up the website, scrolling to the bottom, you can see you know there's a home kind of like navigation link to get back at the at the start, and they have the, the about page, contact, and then social media. Um, privacy and terms right here all the legal stuff and then these are kind of like external links for, for you know products that are probably built by the same founder but and are and are connected directly to this product so it makes sense that they're listed here okay let's look at one more um let's go back real quick and let's pick let's see let's randomly pick this one ionic academy so learn to build ionic apps all right they make 5k a month pretty good now if i scroll to the bottom what will i find disclaimer terms and conditions privacy support pretty good there's no contact us page there's some social stuff here um not bad i think i would have added a like a contact page and also an about about me about us page like who's making this product anyway as you can see um you know the important stuff is on the header the second most important stuff links navigation wise is at the bottom that's all i have for today i hope you've enjoyed this short video and uh i hope you have amazing footers and you can make some changes to yours if you're lacking some of these things because it's really important thanks for watching and if you haven't please consider subscribing to the channel it's free, it really matters to me, and it really helps me because it means that you care, and I'll make, I'll make more videos. Thank you, see you soon.